Lord's hands. As more sports back in your business with a random Saturday evening live stream I thought I would do in lieu of a pre-recorded video on this fine evening. Um, it's now like the third, today is the third day of the 2024 Major League Baseball season, folks, and uh, if you're a Yankees fan like myself, it's been a it's been a good one, surprisingly good, I have to say. I um, was not expecting the Yankees to sweep the Astros of all teams. you see before you are um, 2024 Big League Baseball, which just came out, uh, I think, on the 27th. And this is, uh, I think, like the third Topps Baseball um, product to come out in 2024, so very few, very few things are out. Next up is probably uh, 2024 Tops Heritage, which is supposed to be kind of a new um, configuration for that set. Uh, I've heard some things, read some things, and uh, not exactly sure what to expect, but it's got the 1975 Tops design that uh, is quite popular with collectors and uh, reason and, uh, uh, at least some people are pretty excited about that release so tops big league is a pretty low-end set that um it's kind of you know directed to kids who are sort of very casual collectors um like a box of these will set you back about 40 to 50 dollars um I think I, I bought this at my local hobby shop just because I wanted to get some ASAP. And uh, I think they charged me like, it's like some ridiculous, it was like 55 bucks or something like that. I think it was like almost 60 with taxes. Um, but uh, interesting. So on the right has a kind of a darkish. tint at the top there. I don't know if that means anything. There's a Bobby. Bobby Wood Jr. That's nice. Um, one thing about the big league uh, baseball sets, last couple of years anyways, is that they have a, a, uh, uh, a fairly SP insert set of uh, hobby influencers, so a bunch of people that have like blogs or, you know, YouTube channels have cards um, in this, so uh, one of the guys that I watch and I've mentioned, you know, pretty regularly is um, Striker from Striker Breaks, and he has a card in this set, um, To the Moon, You're Done. One foils mix, one C. Should be um, one foil, I think, and maybe like one insert per pack of this stuff. So, odds 
getting an influencer are quite low, but not zero. Alec Thomas, uh, you know who had a big day today? Oh, that's a nice one, Junior Kim and Earl. Um, Luis or Robert had a very nice day today, so we got a nice little, uh, I think that's like a blue foil. Austin Riley's a perfectly good name. So that's a sweet card. And this is some kind of uh, insert set. I don't, I forget what they call these. So I'll take that out. And uh, the foil is Devin Williams. Scott Fred Bird of the Cardinals. Oh, not a bad foil there. Spencer Stryer, good name. So these are fun to open because they're, you know, the checklist is pretty limited and they have a pretty star and rookie, you know, kind of heavy checklist. Which always makes things fun, kind of like, you know, like Chronicles or pretty much any like Donruss baseball product of old. for, you know, if you get these for 45 bucks, which I think is about what they sell for at David Adams or something like that, at that price, I think um, these are definitely worth opening a box, seeing, you know, what you get, you never know, could hit something big, but, 
just get like a Jason Dominguez rookie or something. Maybe it's a foil. Maybe it's some other parallel. Then you've got a pretty nice card there, I would say. But I don't know what uh, frequency the like autos come out of these things. I, I would guess one in every maybe like three boxes or four boxes. You might see an auto. But uh, that's just a wild guess. I have no information. Any reliable source on that, so could be more or less common than what I have just stated. So we'll put those away for now. Probably gonna go for just about like half an hour tonight and uh, see if we can catch some of our regulars. the stream so uh, so uh, I don't know a couple few videos ago I showed my um, my haul from a recent uh, antique mall shopping spree and uh, got a quite a few um, So yeah, I wanted to wanted to uh, maybe open a pack or two of these and just kind of see, you know, see the card design and what kind of inserts are in there and all that sort of stuff. So this is a hobby box, which is pretty rare. I was looking these up on, uh, you know, eBay, and there's relatively few hobby boxes, quite a few retail boxes of this stuff for sale. Ground out. Looks like a, a playing card. You 
make to play interactive cards, okay, so there was maybe some kind of, like, online game or something, no, probably, well, I don't know, it could have been online, but probably not back then, 1996, would have been the very, like, beginning of the World Wide Web. <coughs> so, yeah, pretty much that's, uh, I don't know, some kind of game they were promoting, presumably. All right, Brian Maxi, Mark Grudzlinick. Uh, Hall of Famer Randy Johnson next to Ideo Nomo on the stat leaders and a rookie Carlos Perez the giant I don't know maybe tobacco maybe bubblegum wow look at this this is a cool one international flavor Fernando with the Padres like that Mexico. All right, let's do the second pack here. And see what we get. So I'm gonna probably put the rest of these up for sale on my site, and hopefully uh, in the future somebody will pick some up and ask that they be opened on a video. I'm happy to do that. Uh, Real Cormier, Mark McLemore. So I see. Silver border ones have the facsimile autographs, but the regular cards do not. Hall of Famer Barry Larkin, the one of those little game cards. And there's a, uh, just a base Fernando, very cool. Gosh, I don't, I don't think I remember him being with the Padres. But after the Dodgers, ten years with the Dodgers, and then Angels, Orioles, Phillies, Padres. So he really moved around. People are hoping uh, to strike gold, but like he actually didn't do terrible. I mean, he had like. Like an almost 500 record there. There he was, you know, one and two, but had a three ERA. And then 95 the Padres, uh, eight and three with a 498 ERA. <laughs> Must have had some luck going there. Some run support. Here's a here's a little info on that game thing they got. Kind of cool. What's going on, Ebunai Project? Ben McDonald with the bat. He, of course, was a pitcher. Big Ben. That uh, was not really, you know, didn't really live up to expectations. I do want to look at his career. I feel like this was probably one of his last cards, though. I don't feel like he has a super long career. So, yeah, it was kind of like, you know, a 500 pitcher. and Had a pretty good season in 94. 14 and 7 is pretty dang solid. And then back to, you know, 3 and 6. That 13, 13, 13, 14, 6, and 8. So, yeah, you know, definitely had some potential. Not with the bat, though. Not with the bat. Mark McLemore. What are their stat leaders? Edgar Martinez and Tony Gwynn, the double Hall of Fame card right there. And another Hall of Famer tribute, Dave Stewart. International flavor is Hideo Nomo. pick out uh, the Hall of Famers here. Uh, wait a minute, Dave Stewart is not an Hall of Famer. I was thinking of Eckersley. Um, Larkin. Randy. I don't think we got any base cards of Hall of Famers, which is kind of a bummer. For sure, but I also like that uh, they put on the pack the 99 cents, so it can sort of always remember, you know, what these things went for back in the day. So there you go. There's uh, some '96 collectors choice. Not something you see every day.
1994 Stadium Club Series 3. I think they only made um, three series of this stuff. Oh, only. Um, yeah, it's a lot of series, but... Uh, yeah, cards were hot back then. Trade players, first day issue, rookie, Stadium Club Finest, 94 debut. See what these like. One of the main questions I have with a box like this is: uh, Are the cards going to be bricked or not? <coughs> Certainly, am. Um, <coughs> like 90, 91, and ninety-two Stadium Club stuff is commonly pretty bricked. You know, sometimes it's sort of recoverable. Sometimes it's not. <coughs> Ninety-four might be a little bit better chances, but we're gonna find out. <coughs> Good Lord in heaven, they made this hard. Uh, so it's Mark Leiter. This is a, um, some kind of parallel because it has like this refractory sort of finish in the foil. Pretty cool there. All right, uh, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. Eric Hansen, your Stadium Club finest, just sort of, sort of like top card for the set. Card six of six, okay, so there's I guess five players. There's a Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg, fantastic finishers, insert, very cool. Uh look at that, Manny Ramirez, the rookie rocker. That would have been nice to have back in the day, but not so much now. Matt Williams, fantastic finishers. Tim Belcher. A Jack Armstrong. All right, last pack of the video. Unfortunately, I gotta. I have to run. Otherwise, I would probably stick around, just kind of hang out and maybe open cards for orders. But um, I do have to run. Unfortunately, here after this one. But uh, just trying to get a video in for the evening. We'll post and then hopefully folks can catch this.
Morgan Freeman. Brian Anderson and then uh, Tom Bernanski. Wow, he looks so weird to me. Um, in this Brewers, he was a long time uh, Minnesota twin. That uh, us uh, upper Midwesterners were very familiar with back in the mid to late 80s, given, you know, with his uh, appearances in the World Series. Uh, there's Bob Hamlin, Doug Jones, there's the career leaders of uh, Lee Smith, flamethrower. Here's another kind of silly, like, top card for an insert set. Um, fantastic finishers. It's like, do we really need a introduction card? <laughs> Alright, Mike Fielder, or Felder. Pedro, Hall of Famer. Pretty early card, not his rookie, but pretty early card. Alright, last two cards of the night. Many thanks, Dewey. Um, oh, wow, this would have been a sweet card. This is uh, another one of those parallels, I'm not sure what. You call these parallels, but it's the Manny, rookie rocker. Next. <laughs>